Welcome. So today I thought I would do a quick video talking about weapon upgrading and this is really for new players But I remember when I first played Dark Souls Remastered I didn't really understand the the upgrade system uh, I've really pumped more into my stats more than I did the upgrading so of uh, the weapons so uh, really you really want to focus on upgrading your weapon first and use your stats to really just meet the uh, requirements for the individual weapons. So I am here uh, in the round table hold, and I thought I would try and show you this by fully upgrading a weapon for you. So I'm going to fully upgrade the Milady. Uh, so as you can see, it's a dex-focused weapon. Uh, and as you can see on my stats, I'm even on the strength and dex, so I probably won't get as much benefit from it as uh, somebody who's a pure dex focus, but it'll be good nonetheless to just kind of show you. So we'll go over to Hugh here. So in order to upgrade uh, fully from... Uh, the difference between just regular smithing stones and the somber smithing stones, there are 10 somber smithing stone levels. Uh, and you just need one stone for each level. Uh, but for the uh, regular smithing stone upgrades, uh, they start off at 2, 4, and then 6. So you get 3 levels. Um, so you'll need 12 of the, each level of smithing stone to fully upgrade it. Uh, so... Uh, here I've got 20 smithing stone ones. It's going to take four to get it up to level two. Uh, but as you can see, as it goes up, uh, so I'm getting an additional seven damage points from physical. And because I meet the requirements, I'm getting an extra five. Whereas if I was just upgrading my dex or my strength stat, you know, I'd be getting, you know, two to five points of extra damage. So as you can see, this one's given me, what, 12? Uh, extra damage per level for right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade it. And now, as you can see, we're getting seven and six on it. So that's 13. So let's upgrade it again. All right, now to go from three to four, you know, it still looks like it's roughly about the same, but we'll continue. As you can see, the scaling has changed for dexterity. It's now C level, so the more I pump my dex, the better I'll be doing. Um, and you can see, so we're four, seven, and six. So yeah, it's still about 13, roughly. So we'll continue. So now here we are at level 10, so it's still 7 and 7, still at C level on decks, so we'll just continue pumping it up a little bit more, pump it up a little bit more. So now you can see it's all the way up to, what is that, 7 and from 216 to 223 is 7, and 158 to 165 is 7. So, still doing about 14. So, here we are. We're at level 8. So, this is the last level. So, we're going to go 7 and what? 9. So... Pump it up one more time. There we go. So if I want to invest in the Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone to get it actually up to level 25, uh, you can see there in the blue, uh, it's going to be up to 284 and 239. Um, so the deck scaling is C. Uh, so that's gone up a little bit, but from D, from our start, uh, sometimes you can get all the way up to like... Uh, B or A scaling, but uh, the point being that this is really going to give you more bang for your buck than just 
uh, going and pumping your decks, your strength, your intelligence, your faith, or your arcane. Uh, I mean, it's not going to hurt to add that, but this is where you're going to get your big benefits from. Um, so, you know, when you're first starting out, definitely find your weapon that you really like, and then, you know, start focusing on upgrading it. Uh, you know, focus on your other stats, too, you know, because obviously you're going to need, you know, uh, mind, you know, for the FP, for any kind of uh, uh, weapon art that you want to do. You're going to need stamina to, you know, swing those weapons. You're going to need vitality to, uh, you know, stay alive, increase your health. But uh, don't don't go overboard on just pumping those strength and dex and int and faith and arcane to the exclusion of everything else. You know, definitely, you know, focus on getting those stats up, but really focus on getting these um, upgrades so you can get your weapon up. Uh, and there are, you know, plenty of uh, people that have put out great content that shows you where to find all these smithing stones and the somber stones quickly, early in the game. So definitely give them a look. Uh, but anyway, I hope you found that useful. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.